So our solution is a system where we integrate solar cells and batteries and electric vehicles into facilities. So for a home, for instance, it could then be a battery. Yeah. It could be the energy hub, which we have here, that yes. controls the battery and the surrounding uh, grid. Exactly. So the energy hub is the core of our, our right. of all our installations. So that's the, the basic building block that you always have that you can use to connect solar cells and batteries or electric vehicles. And solar cells, batteries and your electric vehicle, they are all run on DC, right? Exactly. So you are building a DC grid. Exactly. In the exactly. We have a DC backbone uh, that we always use to exchange energy. And the idea here is to try to produce and store and consume as much energy as possible on the DC side. Yes. Because when doing that, we reduce conversion losses by roughly 50%. Mm. And then you convert it to AC for the devices in the home that uh, needs that. That is true, because most of the things that you have in your home or that you find in a normal office mm. are still powered by AC. Yeah, exactly. But that is solar cells, it's electric vehicles and it's batteries, because yeah. they are inherent DC devices. So apart from, from the actual, let's say, physical building blocks, we also have a, a very competent software that includes um, an online portal, a cloud-based service, uh, where you have the energy management system. Yeah. So a customer can log on and they can see all their consumption in, in real time. And they can also, through that portal, they can control their building to see how they're using their batteries, how much are they producing, do mm -hmm. they charge the cars, yeah, yeah, yeah. how much are they importing, exporting from the grid and so on. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have uh, about 1,000 installations in operation um, yeah. uh, today. Most of them in, in Sweden, a few in Norway and, mm. and Holland as well. Mm. Uh, I think that essentially in, in three years we will continue on the same trajectory that we see now. And that means that a lot more people will have electric cars in three years. I mean, we can just see what, is, what has happened in Norway. In Norway now more than 50% of all new car sales are electric. And this is a very good indicator of what will happen. Cool. And solar and batteries, how do you see the future for that? I mean, solar is to already today by far the cheapest uh, means of producing electricity. Mm. And, and there is no signs of stopping. Solar is a mainstream uh, source that will expand to even more markets. Mm. And batteries will be a natural partner to go with solar because it manages the intermittent production that you have so that mm. you can actually can use your solar installation during the nights as well. When do you think we will see 24-7 uh, solar installations? Uh, we already see that uh, today. I mean, there, it's already happening. Um, the only problem here is in the Nordic countries mm. that we have the winter time. Mm. But I would say it's fairly easy to manage 24-7, uh, eight months per year. A couple of years, you have nine months, which will be economically viable, and yeah, then yeah. 10 months. Yeah. On the other hand, if we go towards Southern Europe, of it's course, already yeah. there today. Yeah, yeah.